I'm Natasha White and I got back up from EDS and FND. I get a lot of dislocations and um, they're a pretty regular occurrence. I think full dislocations are a lot more under control than they were a few years ago. I tend to get full dislocations a few times a month across different joints. It varies but I get partial dislocations pretty much every day and that's widespread across most of the joints in my body. Most of my dislocations, probably around 80%, happen while I'm asleep, when I'm not paying attention to what my limbs are doing and what my muscles are doing. My name is Amy Conroy and I play wheelchair basketball for Great Britain. I'm a three-time Paralympian and, and above me, amputee. Is there anything that you want to learn? Uh, I mean, one that always looks useful is picking up a ball against the wheel. That is a snazzy one. Yeah, yeah to impress people, <laughs> impress the boys. <laughs> so basically, if the ball is loose on the floor, you use the momentum of your wheel, mm -hmm. hold it on the push rim. Okay. So if there's a loose ball, you kind of gain a bit of extra time. Yeah. And okay. you can work with speed. <laughs> well, mine was because I was always sporty, like back in the two-leg days, got yeah. cancer, lost a leg, um, became really self-conscious about it. Um, I don't know if you've ever gone through a stage where you just don't yeah. accept your disability. I would wear there's pictures of me on the beach in big baggy flares, in jeans, sweating yeah. away, and not a cute look. I was just embarrassed about it and I wanted to be normal. Yeah. I was this little bald kid who came up hospital, a uh, questionable afro growing back from <laughs> chemo. And it was my dad who first suge suggested I try wheelchair basketball. And at first I thought, it's not going to be a real sport, it's going to be lame, everyone's yeah. in wheelchairs. Like, um, but ate my words. I thought it was going to be like, yeah. baskets on the floor as soon as yeah. I went. I was like, that's unreasonable. Yeah. Ten foot, how am I supposed to reach that? Everyone's sure. going to bubble wrap you. Like, no, yeah. <laughs> definitely not in this um, sport. But no, I was completely wrong. Like, yeah. it is aggressive, it's fast, it's dynamic, it's such a good sport. So if I'm on defence... Yep. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and if we stand like side of the key, yeah. basically, principles of defence, I just want to mirror everything you do. Okay. So I want to, you know what you want to do, I want to stop you, so I want to copy what yeah. you do and then stop what you do. Okay. So if you, so it's all like little movements, so I just want to copy. And then offensively, if you notice you're a bit ahead of me, yeah. you can fake to make me go forward and then yeah. reverse. Yeah. Or fake reverse back, I go back and beat, so it's just trying yeah. to be like one step ahead. Yeah. So watch my okay. chair, watch if you're further in front. Yeah. You want to beat me. As soon as you get that position, I'm going to foul and you just push through it, push through it, push through it. Yeah, perfect. And you're in. Yeah. Seal me off. Easy. Yeah. Easy money. <laughs> and then if you want to beat me back door, which is that way, so fake, I want to get you forward and then you want this positioning like this. Seal yeah. it off. Really quick spin. In. Seal yeah. it off. Get the ball. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> Grand. It's nice to have a space where you don't have to, you don't have to sit there going, is it going to be accessible? Is there, you know, is there going to be parking that we can use <laughs> are, the, are the doorways going to be wide enough is there going to be places that you can sit down you, you can just go because it's already thought about and it's normal and you don't have to ask for the access it's just built in and it's part of that community and everyone just gets it